I come to you, my fellow Dutchlings, for we have a matter of policy to decide. We have to decide whether to focus on the West, over here with United Kingdom and France primarily. Actually, it's Belgium primarily, but France kind of goes along with Belgium. They're kind of brothers in arms, you know, with uh, Belgium being allied and in the sphere of France. That makes more sense. Or focus on the East here to try, try to take territories from Prussia and prevent the formation of Germany. So, that's kind of a difficult choice, really. I mean, Belgium would be an obvious choice for, for Dutch expansion. I did give up the, the Belgian course, I am aware. It was might be, might have been stupid in hindsight. But at the time, you know, those those CBs that all the enemies would get on on Netherlands, it was kind of scary, gotta say. And, you know, sure, it would cost a bit of infamy to get them back, but not, no big deal, no big deal. We, we could manage, we can always manage. The Dutch Empire always manages, that's our motto. Our new motto, if nothing else. So we could either cultivate an alliance with Prussia to try to take down France and get our slice of Belgium or all of Belgium. But I won't say, I, honestly, I won't be greedy. If I can only take a part of Belgium, I will take that part of Belgium. I'm no big deal. Or we could do the opposite. Maybe cultivate an alliance with France, Austria, you know, the Russian Empire perhaps, and try to take down Prussia. Because, I mean, I don't really know much about Friesland. But this is called East Friesland, so I assume that it's quite important, right? I assume that that's things that I would like to have. East Friesland seems to me like a very important part of Dutchland. Even though they're populated with North Germans, we could always drive them out and colonize with Dutch people. It's fine. Even though, I mean, Flandern is already populated with Dutch people, or Flemish people, who are pretty much Dutch people, right? Aren't they? I mean, Wallonians are a bit, a bit of a different matter, they speak a different language, even though they have a similar kind of color as us. So, yeah, I mean, according to the color here, the Wallonians are closer to us than the Flemish. Who knew? Colors can tell you so much. So yeah, that's the policy we have to decide on, which to focus on. I suppose that will come naturally over time, depending on, like, if we get an opportunity to stab Prussia in the back and take some territory, I think we will do that. The same way if we find an opportune moment where France and Belgium are preoccupied or have lost already and are down for the taking, we will definitely take a part of Belgium. So we'll see what happens, really. Right now we have an alliance with Belgium. We are act not Belgium. Well, actually, we do. We do have an alliance with Belgium. We have become best, best of friends. Currently, we have diplomatic relations with Sweden. We have di diplomatic relations with Mecklenburg. Uh, over here, his uh, Darmstadt, it was it? No, his castle. I can't remember who was who. Well, his uh, his castle it was. We have it with Sardinia, Piedmont, two Sicilies, and Spain. So we have quite a few alliances, I must admit. Plus, we have our small little friends over here of Limburg and Luxembourg. And I just noticed one thing. In fact, when I was looking around the map, loading in, this little thing over here, Neuchâtel. Neuchâtel, whatever. I didn't know that was uh, its own thing. I never heard of, of it before. Well, not as its independent nation, but it, it's a satellite to Switzerland. I need to research that. Was that actually a thing? Probably. I mean, there's a lot of things that I don't know. Anything we should do before starting up the game again and letting time pass by? Well, we kind of want to utilize all of our possible brigades. Currently, we're building some infantry in Rotterdam and Arnhem, and we can make three more in Amsterdam as soon as we would like. To be honest, our army over here in Netherlands is uh, not the greatest, not the greatest at all. So I think I will order some Dutch artillery to be made and then start up time again. We also need to industrialize quite rapidly. Uh, we will forgive their debts. That is fine. We should be making quite a bit of money, but we do now have a liberal party. So if we're making money, it will be amazing. Oh, come on. Everyone is just defaulting all the time. Bankrupting. It's a bit tiresome to... Can we just issue some sort of, uh, I don't know, blank... Uh, how do you call it? Forgiving all the debts possible in the future? Like we give money for free? instead of giving them loans. Seems to be 
less of a ha hassle to 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 deal with if everyone just knows that. Oh well, I mean, if we don't have to pay the du a Dutch debt, well, who cares? They will forgive us anyway. And I don't have to click on that button. British Guatemala living on as peacefully as ever. Holy shit, the Irish are just flocking over here. Everyone in Belize are Irish. Holy shit. I did not know. Los Altos. Never knew, heard of this before, but they're Mayan and Central American. What else is new here? Dominican Repu uh, Republic is a thing. Can't remember them being that in the beginning of the game, but I'm sure they broke themselves out if if not that. Over here in France we have, uh, well, French people and Bretons. A lot of Bretons. French Canadians and holy shit, 17% capitalists and 30% clerks. I feel a you know, slight imbalance in the workforce here of the 583 people who live there. It doesn't seem very well optimized, let's just say. Okay, so what are we lacking when it comes to army construction? We are lacking canned food, apparently. Seemingly an issue that is permeating all of the army. Maybe I should... I want a canned food factory. And for some reason I can't invest in things. This is what I hate with liberal parties. Holy shit, we have so many liberals. Well, at least in the voters. Apparently all the rich people are liberal and all the poor people are conservative. That's news to me. Maybe if we go down here, we will have more of a balanced one, but currently 62% of the voters are liberal. Ay caramba, that means that we will have liberal parties going forward all the time. But liberals are kind of going against themselves now. They are going for a vote franchise. What do they want the most? Suffrage movement. Okay, let's increase weighted wealth. Will that help in the imbalance? Now 66%. 27% and then 7% reactionaries. Okay, so we are very liberal country. That's something I couldn't really predict when starting out the game, so, well, just what I'm saying, that things happen, like, uh, organically. We're soon done with army professionalism, and it's 1848, nationalism and imperialism will be unlocked at 1850. And we also, well, okay, so when army professionalism is done, perhaps we should do something to increase our production of things. So let's get our industry up to snuff. Uh, commerce, we should probably go and get some administrative efficiency and all of these things as well. Wealth-based voting. Adjust the rules. What? But it's the rich people who are liberal, so why are they mad when I liberalize? I don't understand. There's no canned food in the world at all. I suppose it doesn't help that I have to import it all. Where's the canned food again? There we go. Canned food. Not in high demand. But I want to buy it up then. Give me give me canned food then. Oh, this is tariffs. I don't want higher tariffs. What I want is canned food. Not, not buying it. Not buying canned food, but canned food is not in high demand. So they're not in high demand. The demand is... the supply is meeting the demand. And actual bought is pretty much always what the demand is. Yet we are not getting it. We are not getting any canned food. This is a mystery to me. What are we producing ourselves? Well, not canned food, that for sure. Do we have any... Uh, no, only railroads. I'm tempted to switch out the party in... in uh, Power, let's do, 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 do. Is there anyone here that allows for some, well, state capitalism? Let's see, expand factories, open close factories, destroy factories, build railway, prioritize factories, subsidize, blah, blah, blah. Investors allow for investments. I mean, this one is not too bad. State cap capitalism. I mean, let's go for the conservatives. Conservatives can do two things. Military spending up, and also we can tax the poor people, so everyone will be happy, except you know for the poor, but who cares about them? And we can invest in our 
investments here and uh, get the show on the road. We can also, hopefully, build some factories. So, no we cannot. Crap. Well, at least I can invest now. So I can get things started. And I can uh, also upgrade. So this one that is doing very very well over here. In Holland. Textile factory, textile mill, I mean. That one will be upgraded. Because I'm sure people will want to work in textile factories. I've, I've been thinking of that sometimes. Just randomly, shower thoughts almost, but not, you know, clever. Just I'm trying to imagine life during the Industrial Revolution. It must have been misery, let's just say. Working so damn much in unsafe environments for scraps of coin just to feed your own family. Just kind of gives you a bit of a perspective on life, almost. Like, well, my life is, is not actually, it's not bad at all, I gotta admit. Could be far, far worse. Definitely be far, far worse. Jefferson method. What is the Jefferson method? Let's see, Jefferson method, I never, oh, there we go, voting system. Uh, it's the highest averages method for allocating seats. Well, I'm personally in favor of proportional selection of seats. It seems more fun. So I'm sorry, movement. I will switch to proportional representation. It seems the most fair. Okay. Still not getting any men. This is problematic. Wait, we are getting one. Our artillery is getting done. Wonderful. But these two that have been, been building for ages, nothing has happened to them. Of course not. Okay, so can I somehow... Well, I could probably try to encourage them to build. Can someone please make, you know, a canned food factory? Mobilization impact, well... That's probably good. What's happening here in the colonies? Not a lot. And what's even worse is that I can't really expand the army here. For two reasons. We have maxed out in population. Like this one has 632,000, you know, males between, what is it, 18 and, well, 16 probably, and 49 or whatever. So we're working age men. And only 6,000 are reaching the military. Should probably focus on getting, more, you know, a bit more soldiers there. But. Got a wonderful tip of focusing a bit on Nigeria here, or Sokoto. Try to take them out. But first I kind of want to take Ashanti. If they're called that. Probably not. But nothing ever is called what they're looking to be called. The Oregon Treaty. Well, they have settled their differences with Britain, unfortunately. This, uh, America. Always starting in an interesting position. At the start, like, trying to expand across, you know, America before everyone else, the race to get all the territory. It's uh, an intriguing process. It's just a shame that it started at 18... What is it again? 1836? And not starting at around, say, 1776. That would be more interesting. Like, when America had a bit more... Uh, challenge, I suppose. Right now they have no challenge in America at all. They are dominant. And that's kind of the issue they always get in, in this game as well. They take over everything, they beat down Mexico, which they are currently doing right now. They take all their current states. And then they sit there doing nothing all game. Except for being... Well, they're producing everything for the world. Okay, so we should probably save up a bit of... Wait, intellectuals provide... Only 1.55% are intellectuals in our country. What the hell happened? What happened to Friesland? Where, why are people not more intellectuals? Did I fail on this at this regard? Okay, I need to make sure I don't fail here. Can we... No, there's the intellectuals. Is it Dutch Zealand that is causing the lack of intellectuals? No, it is not. Is it Holland that is causing the lack of intellectuals? No. But where, are, where is it then? What territories do we even have that is not part of them? Dutch Zealand... Friesland... Is it Java? No, they can't count. Oh, Timor, we can even... Uh, incorporate these. 
Well, let's do... Wait. We can't. We need more. Ah, we need more. Right. Well, we have a lot of different colonies, but... Who is it that's causing this in imbalance? 1.55% of the population. I mean, if I just take a look, just for... Just for the sake of interest. If I go down here, 1.1%. Let's see if that increases the percentage. I'm pretty sure that colonies do not count in it, but it could be changed for the historical project model. Who knows? Napoleon wins election. Oh, France, France, France. You're led by Napoleon, the Bonapartiste. Interesting. So who are, who are your allies? Belgium. Well, the United Kingdom. Well, that kind of shelves all plans of going to attack them. Okay, has this increased our percentage? It has not. So, I assume, then, that I was right about the colonies. But we will give it a bit more time to see. No wait, I wasn't right. Holy shit. Holy crap. Since when? Maybe it was ever. Maybe I've been wrong on this the whole time. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Here we go with Bremen wanting an alliance. Hello, Bremen. Oh, hello, Bremen. There you are. Unfortunately, you will not help me with Prussia. You will not. And uh, the Ottoman Empire is allied now to Prussia as well. They allied with Egypt, me and Moldavia. And Wallachia. But Wallachia is their puppet, so... There we go. We have 3,100... We have 3,000, almost uh, 400. Almost 400 by the time we end. Uh, close enough. So now we will go for nationalism and imperialism. So we can incorporate some, some places. I assume the voters... Oh, voters fight movements. Harassed parties. It's always fun there. Uh, oh, we want harassed parties. Yeah, that's what we're going to campaign for. That's kind of ignoring where they're starting from. And these ones are still not getting any canned food at all. Is no one getting the memo that we want some canned bloody food over here? Oh no, I said it again. Crap. But yeah, I, I want more than just one. We're so close to getting a second focus point. Because then I can encourage you know, some craftsmen and stuff like that. But we are a great power now, suddenly. So now we have influence in the world. Influence. So the Ottoman Empire will probably cancel their alliance with us. You're just becoming a great power. Uh, will they ally us? They will not. Too many great power allies. Well, they themselves are not allied with anyone of interest. So there must be you know, thinking of that I am allied with the Ottoman Empire and that's causing the issue at hand. We should probably cancel that and try to go for Prussia, but Prussia is already allied with uh, you know, the Ottoman Empire anyway. So I don't think they would go for it either. What we probably could do is... Uh, will this have changed now? Demand concession? No, but we would probably try to put Ashanti and stuff like that under our sphere. Try to put as much as possible so we could get those nice events of incorporating them. Which hopefully will be a thing. So before anyone else, let's just try to try to take that. Let's do that. And we are. Local business fails. It doesn't seem like a concern for us, but we will give them 100 pounds anyway. It is pounds, right? Yep, gotta be pounds. And I still want more men. I can even... Oh, now they are. Well, we became a great power, so now we can, now we can buy whatever you want. That's, that is good. I like that. I like that. We should probably challenge France for the overlordship of Belgium as well. Perhaps. Belgium has great relations with us. We could invest in their country. In fact, we will invest in their country. Make a machine part factory. And make a, you know, artillery factory. How much have we invested now compared to anyone else? 32k. I mean, that's gonna help. 